Hey guys, what's up, what's good, what's hood, and what is life? Guys, I will be doing a reading, general timeless reading for the sign of Aries. So, how y'all bees in the trap? How you guys doing? I hope you guys have had a great birthday. Um, you know, we in some race season or whatever, but it's okay guys, what's up? Alright, Spirit, what messages do we have for the sign of Aries? What general messages do we have for the sign of Aries? So we have Beyond Illusion here in the reverse. So that is a pinnacle. So Aries, it looks like um, the lesson here that has to be learned or hasn't been learned yet is to see things for really <laughs> what they, like everything isn't, what am I trying to say? I guess what I'm trying to say, Aries, is that the lesson here is to learn how to take things at face value, which it doesn't look like has happened because, look, the experiencing card here is in the reverse and the possibilities card here is in the reverse. Now, these are both action cards. Now, I resonate with this wholly because, like, when I say procrastination is a thing for me, but as well as just not being motivated to do anything because <laughs> um, it's kind of just like the reality of shit just sucks. But... Aries, the lesson here for us is to take things at face value and what are you going to do with that information, basically? It's like, are you, are you just going to stumble and fall um, or are you going to make the best of it? <laughs> I am totally resonating with this here message. That is a lot going on here, Aries. So, it is a lot of cards here, so let me figure out life, guys. So, we have the exhaustion card here in the reverse, which means we're not tired because we ain't did shit. We're not in our creative juices. Creativity here is in the reverse. Um, what else is going on here? Consciousness here in the reverse. Thought process card. We are the world card here in the upright. So, there is a possibility for things to eventually change, Aries. Like, it's just a matter of getting out of your funk. Aries, I just think you're in a funk, because listen, I'm talking to me as I'm talking to y'all, you feel me? So, the silence card here is in the reverse as well. This is another pinnacle. We have to silence the mind. Sometimes, if we can just center ourselves and get a like hold on things, we might get a little far in life, right? Friendliness card here in the reverse, and the lovers here in the reverse. So, Aries, that all of that is simply saying we are not in connection with our emotions. We are just not here. There is a big disconnect here, Aries. So, let's figure out how to fix it. Alright, so, <clears throat> Aries, we have the nature card here in the upright, and then the rebirth card. So, Spirit is saying, yo, get the fuck outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get some sunlight, get some fresh air, and everything will, you know, be better as it should be. You know what I'm saying? Spirit is kind of saying, you know, patience. Oh, I'm sorry, it was in the reverse, but I don't read reversals when it comes to oracles, so my bad. But patience. So, Aries... Being a fire sign, being the child of the zodiac, y'all, we are impatient as the fuck. You feel what I'm saying? Like, we are so impatient. We don't, we just, patience is not a virtue for us. You feel me? But spirit is saying that if we really want to get a hold on things, like, we can do that. It's just going to take some patience. It's not a virtue of an Aries, but whatever, right? Let's see what else. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm excited because, y'all, when I say I needed this message too. So, Aries, we have the Harmony card, which is Sacral Chakra, or Sacral ch uh, Chakra. So, um, Sacral Chakra deals with the confidence and deals with, um, you know, having your confidence, having your stability and things of that nature. It is the second uh, chakra, and the number associated with it is 22. So, if you guys want to look up the angel numbers, it is 22. And then here's the guidance card as well as the prosperity card. So Aries Spirit is saying like it's not letting us down. It's not forsaking us. It's just we got to have a little bit more patience. We got to put in for, you know, a little bit of effort. Just a little bit. <laughs> Again, talking to y'all as I'm talking to myself. Anything else for the sign of Aries? Oh, this is beautiful. So you have Eclipse and we have Eclipse and Sagittarius. Okay, hey cousin, which is growth and it says success after a setback. Okay, and then Sun and Capricorn, which is status, and it says work diligently towards your goals. 
So, Aries, I'm gonna leave it right here, okay? This was um, an amazing reading. Generally speaking, Spirit is literally saying like, hold on, you know, like, um, what's that song? Patience, little sister, like that. Like, that's kind of like what Spirit is kind of saying to us right now. It's like, have patience. Like, we're gonna have a seat at the table too. And I'm getting emotional as I'm, I'm reading this because it's like, yo, it's resonating with me too. Like, y'all, we're gonna make it. We're gonna be great. We just have to figure out what it is that motivates us, what gets us excited, and just go after it. You know, be unapologetically the Aries energy, but it is going to take some getting outside. It is going to take some breathing. <laughs> it is going to take some, you know, breaking out of our comfort zone. So, Aries, um, I hope you resonated with this message. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.